What's up, football fans? I'm your host, Nathan Spees, and welcome to Super Bowl Sunday. And since I have literally nothing to do today other than watch the game, how about we do a video where I rank all 32 NFL team mascots? Now, yes, I know not all 32 teams have a mascot, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So if you don't know what a tier list is, it's basically the modern version of rankings things. You rank them from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And you can rank basically anything. So I thought for today, we'll rank all the mascots in the NFL. I'm mostly going to be ranking them based off their costumes, but also sideline antics and impacts on the community are also going to be a factor into their rankings. And I should also clarify that these are my opinions. So if you disagree or you agree on some things that I disagree and agree on, put it in the comments. Also, hopefully none of you guys get too offended if I give your team a low ranking. Anyway, with all that out of the way, here is Nathan's NFL mascot ranking video tier list. Oh, by the way, I'm ranking all these guys in alphabetical order, not through divisions like I was originally going to do, because I'm lazy. Anyway, first up we have Big Red from the Arizona Cardinals. I'm going to put Big Red in B tier, just because he is a pretty basic mascot. There's nothing really too special about him, it's just a cardinal in a cardinal's jersey. He's one of those mascots that I like to call the humanoid mascots, since they're basically just a regular person with an oversized head. Although I do like that his head looks exactly like the logo. That's what's giving him a high ranking, is how accurate he looks to the logo. Yeah, and overall, there's nothing really too special about him. I mean, he does look really cool, so that's why he's going in the B tier. And plus, Louis the Cardinal is better. No, not that one. Mmm, kinda. That's better. Next up, we have Freddy Falcon from the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to put Freddy in the A tier, just because I kind of like him more than Big Red. He doesn't really just look like a generic bird. He actually does have, like, a cartoony look. And he is one of the oldest modern NFL mascots to still exist today. Yes, he does look like Scooter from the Muppets, but in bird form, but I don't really care. And also, he's just a really fun mascot. He's got a lot of crazy antics. So yeah, I'm going to put him in A tier. Next up, we have the Baltimore Ravens with their three mascots, Edgar, Allen, and Poe. Although Poe is the primary mascot. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in D tier just because eh, I don't really like them that much. I mean, they look really cheap. Like, the, the heads don't really look that good. They look like, I don't know, it, just, it doesn't look right to me, honestly. They look really weird, with their really long beaks and their kind of creepy eyes. I don't think they're quite effed here, because they do make up for it in, well, I like the names, Edgar Allan and Poe. It's a nod to Baltimore resident Edgar Allan Poe, who wrote the famous story The Raven. That's why the team is called The Ravens. So I do applaud them for that. Oh yeah, and that uh, funny incident last year when Poe got, uh, when he got hurt, and they had to cart him off the field, that was pretty funny. Not for the guy in the costume, but it was just kind of funny seeing a mascot get carted off the field. All while he's still smiling, so... Anyway, that's why I'm going to put them in D tier. Not the worst, but not great. Next up, we have Billy Buffalo from the Buffalo Bills. Now I'm going to put this guy in A tier. I really like this guy's design. I do like the older version a little bit more because it looks like a buffalo, but I don't hate this version either. He does kind of look like a Where the Wild Things Are character, or a Cuphead character. Honestly, this guy looks like he could be a Cuphead boss. Maybe that's what they were going for, since this guy was created when Cuphead came out. But yeah, I, I do like this guy. He is a really well done mascot. So we're going to put him in A tier. And also, Bills fans are crazy. Get those guys a Super Bowl win. They're absolutely insane. Next up, we have the Carolina Panthers mascot, Sir Purr. And Sir Purr is also going in A tier. It's always weird that Sir Purr is always ranked really low when other people rank NFL mascots. I don't know why, there's nothing really bad about him. He's just a panther. Is it because he's a chubby panther? Is it because he has dog toy squeakers in his paws? Is it because he looks like a sad old man? Or maybe it's because of that one incident from 1996 when he jumped on a live ball. Who knows? But I really like him. I mean, I like cats in general, so... That also is a factor into me giving him high ranking, but also he's just a fun mascot. 
there's nothing really bad I can say about him. So I'm going to put him in A tier. Next up we have the Bears, the Chicago Bears, Staley the Bear. I'm going to put Staley in B tier. I mean, he's just a bear in a Chicago Bears jersey. He's not a generic looking mascot, but he's also not the most creative. Although I do like the name because it is a nod to when the Bears used to be called the Decatur Staley's. So I do like the name, but I don't know, that, that face looks a little too menacing. He almost looks like a dog, like a really grumpy dog. But I mean, he's not the worst mascot. I'll give him that. I do like the butt bouncing, that's pretty funny. So yeah, he's a, he's a solid mascot. He goes in the B tier. Next up, this guy needs no introduction, and I'm already going to go ahead and put him in S tier. It's of course Houday from the Cincinnati Bengals. S tier, S tier, S tier. Now, I'm not putting Hude in S tier just because I'm a Bengals fan, but I'm also putting him in S tier because I am a Bengals fan. But even if I wasn't a Bengals fan, I would still put Hude in S tier just because he's a really great mascot. I mean, he doesn't do any weird antics or anything like that, but he doesn't just exist. He's a really fun looking mascot. He's very friendly looking. He's got a really nice design. He's very muscular. He's got giant Bugs Bunny feet. He's very unique compared to other tiger mascots, so that's why he's going in the S tier. Next up, we got a double whammy with the Cleveland Browns. They have two mascots, Chomps and Brownie the Elf. Now, we're going to start with Chomps first. He's basically just a generic dog. There's nothing really too special about him. He's just a generic looking dog. I wish he was a bulldog because the bulldogs are more associated with the Browns than whatever kind of dog Chomps is. But Brownie the Elf, on the other hand, I do like this guy more than Chomps. I mean, it is a unique choice for a mascot. And also, I do like that they acknowledge him more. I like how they put him in center field of uh, Cleveland Stadium. But even if the costume does look a little weird, and I'm going to put these guys in the C tier. Just slightly above average, but also kind of just average. Next up, we have Rowdy, the mascot from the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm going to put this guy in D tier. I do not like this guy that much. Uh, there's just something off about him that I don't really like. I mean, I understand it's a cowboy because the team is called the Cowboys, so of course you're going to have a cowboy as the mascot, but I don't know, this guy just looks like a he looks like a General Mills mascot or like a Warner Brothers knockoff. I don't know, it's just something about his face. He's very pale too. I don't know, I, I don't like this guy that much. So I'm, I'm putting him in D tier. He's not quite F tier because, I mean, there's not really much they could do with a team called the Cowboys, but... I'm going to put him in D tier. And also, Cowboys fans don't really like him either because they said he's a curse. Because ever since they introduced him, they haven't went back to a Super Bowl. So, uh, kind of suspicious. Alright, I gotta do this. Broncos Nation, let's ride. Next up, we have the Denver Broncos mascot, Miles. Miles is going straight up into S tier. He is one of my favorite NFL mascots just because... I mean, he's so cool looking. I mean, he looks exactly like the logo. Like, if I was to picture a mascot that resembles the logo, that's basically what I would look at. I mean, he has everything that the logo has. He also looks very kid-friendly, but also menacing. And yeah, he's just a really fun mascot. So that's why he's going in S tier. Next up, we got Rory the Lion from the Detroit Lions. Now, Rory, I'm going to go ahead and put in C tier. Just because he's kind of average. Like, I mean, he's a lion in a lion's jersey, so... But, I mean, he's just... He's very average looking. He doesn't really do anything special. He almost looks like Scooby-Doo with a mane, but... I mean, he's not a bad mascot. It's just very generic looking. They could have went with something a little cooler for the lions. But, I mean, hey, that's Detroit for you. So, yeah, he's in seats here. Next up, we have the Green Bay Packers. And as you guys know, the Green Bay Packers do not have a mascot. So that automatically means they're going in F tier. Because they do not have a mascot. If they had a mascot, it would be ranked higher. But because they do not have a mascot, they're going straight down to F tier. Pretty much any team that doesn't have a mascot, I'm going to go and put in the F tier. I mean, Green Bay, if you want a mascot, I made a whole video about it. So, you know, call me. Next up, we have the Houston Texans mascot, Toro. Toro's going in S tier. He is honestly one of my favorite NFL mascots, even though he is one of those mascots where he just looks like a person with a bull head. 
but he does a lot of really cool stuff. What he what he lacks in his design, he makes up for with his crazy antics on the sidelines. He does all these kind of aerial tricks, like he's zip lining and all that. And he was also named NFL Mascot of the Year a couple years back. And, you know, he's a really cool mascot. I really like him. He's very friendly. And, you know, he looks like a bull. It's a shame that he's the mascot of a team that isn't good. But, I mean, I'm not taking a team's performance into the ranking. I'm just going off the mascot. So, anyway, Toro is an S-tier mascot. I love him. Next up, we have the Indianapolis Colts mascot, Blue. Blue, I was originally going to put him in A tier just because he's kind of mean to kids, but I don't like kids either, so I'm going to put him in S tier. I mean, come on, guys. Even if you're not a Colts fan, you got to admit Blue is pretty awesome. I mean, he's a crazy looking horse, and he does all these really crazy antics, and he's one of the weirdest mascots in the NFL, but he's also one of the funniest and one of the best. I mean, after all, he is one of the few NFL mascots in the Mascot Hall of Fame. So, you know, we gotta give him points for that. So yeah, I, I really like Blue. I'm gonna put him in S tier, even though I'm not a Colts fan. Next up, we have yet another cat mascot. The last of the cat mascots, we have Jackson DeVille from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jackson DeVille, I'm gonna put in the S tier just because he's a very unique mascot. You don't see too many Jaguar mascots. But also, the mascots that you have of Jaguars, they look nothing like uh, Jackson DeVille. Even though originally he was going to look more like Chester Cheetah. And he does kind of give off the Chester Cheetah vibes because he's got the sunglasses. But I can't dock points for that just because I like Chester Cheetah. And also, he is actually one of the most controversial mascots in the NFL. Because he, he kind of stretched the limits to what a mascot could do for a sports team. You know, he's gotten into some trouble with the NFL as a whole. He's gotten into trouble with, you know, some of the stuff he's done. But, hey, it's unique. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in S tier. I really like Jackson DeVille. And also, he's related to the Philly Fanatics. So, that probably explains his craziness. Speaking of the Philly Fanatic, we have another mascot that is also related to the Philly Fanatic. And that is the Kansas City Chiefs mascot, Casey Wolf. Now, you would think I'd put Casey Wolf in F tier after what happened a couple weeks ago. But no, I'm not taking games into consideration. I'm ranking them just based off the mascots themselves. And Casey Wolf, I'm putting in S tier. He is honestly one of my favorite mascots in the NFL. He's a very unique mascot choice for a team that is surprisingly still able to keep the Native American name, the Chiefs, because it's not that racist. But. Yeah, I really like Casey Wolf, and also the guy who plays him, he's a really nice guy, and he's a community speaker, and he, he goes to schools, and he lets kids try on the costume, it's really cool. Some of these mascot performers were influenced by Casey Wolf, like Toro from the Texans. See, if it weren't for Casey Wolf, some of these guys wouldn't exist. He's also one of the oldest mascots in the NFL, so we gotta give him points for that. So that's why he's going in S tier. Next up, we have the mascot for the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, you're probably thinking, wait, the Raiders have a mascot? Yes, they do. And it's not Gorilla Rilla, although honestly, I kind of wish he was the official mascot after what you're going to see soon. It's this guy, Raider Rusher. No, not that one. That's the old version. There you go. So yeah, this is Raider Rusher. Now, I understand why some of you Raiders fans probably don't know about this guy, because... He's not allowed on the sidelines. They don't let him go on the sidelines. They don't let him on the field at all. And they don't really let him participate with any other NFL mascots at different events. He's kind of just there. Like, he, you're only really going to see him at events targeted to kids. He's really only there for the kids. He's not supposed to be there for adults, if you know what I mean. But, I mean, I'm putting this guy in F tier. I mean... He looks like the Hamburglar, but goth. You know, it's the Raiders. They could have went with something really cool, like a skeleton. They could have had a skeleton as the mascot. But they just have this guy. So yeah, he's going in F tier. I don't like him that much. And most Raiders fans don't like him anyway. Next up, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, the Los Angeles Chargers do not have a mascot. But for the purpose of this video, I will be ranking their former mascot, Boltman. Well, he's an unofficial mascot, but he still counts. 
For those of you guys who don't know anything about Boltman, he is actually a Chargers fan who bought a costume and went to Chargers games and posed as the team's mascot. At one point he actually was the official mascot, but in the later years he was just relegated to the stands. But yeah, I don't like Boltman that much, I'm gonna put him in F tier just because he looks really creepy, he's like, I don't know, I don't know what's up with his face, he looks like Mac Tonight. Like, he literally looks like an evil version of Mac Tonight. I mean, it's probably the sunglasses and the teeth, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't like Boltman. Although, any of you Chargers fans that are interested in Boltman, the costume and copyrights are up for sale on eBay for $15,000, if you're interested. I'm not buying it, I'm not a Chargers fan. Sorry, Chargers fans. Boltman's in F tier. I wish you guys would have stayed in San Diego. Next up, we have another Los Angeles mascot. This is Rampage from the Los Angeles Rams. Now, I actually did a history video on Rampage. If you want to see that, there's a link in the description. And, uh, I mean, I do like this guy a lot, but I just, I don't like the Rams. So I'm going to put him in B tier. He is one of those mascots that's just like a normal person with an oversized head. But he does do some really cool antics, like he does front flips. He was actually the first NFL mascot to do backflips and front flips. Really cool. Very athletic Ram. Even though his head kind of looks like a hamster. But yeah, I mean, Rampage isn't really that bad. He's just... He's just kind of there. But he does have really cool tricks, so that's why I'm putting him in B tier. Next up, we have the Miami Dolphins mascot, TD. Now, what does TD stand for? I'm pretty sure it stands for the Dolphin, but it can also stand for Touchdown. TD I'm going to put in D tier. I don't really like him that much. Now, I know it's really hard to translate a fish into a two-legged person, but they could have done a little bit better than what they actually have. I mean, sure, there's nothing they could do with a fish, but... Well, I know dolphins are mammals, but still... I've seen marine animal mascot costumes done better than what they did for TD. He just looks like a random dude with a fish head. Although I do like the dolphin helmet, that's an homage to the logo. But I mean, he's, he doesn't really do anything, he's just a dolphin with a dolphin's jersey on. But I can understand why they had a little bit of trouble designing him, because again, he's a, he's a fish. So I'm putting him in D tier just because you know, all the reasons I stated earlier, and he just doesn't really look that good to me. Next up, we have the Minnesota Vikings mascot, Victor E. Viking. Now, I'm going to put Victor in C tier just because he's a perfectly average mascot. He looks exactly like the Vikings logo. He is a pretty fun mascot, but there's nothing really too special about him. So that's why I'm going to put him in uh, C tier. Also, I always forget about the Vikings for some reason, even though they're a really good football team. And speaking of a really good football team, we have Pat Patriot from the New England Patriots. Well, actually, they're not really that good anymore because Tom Brady left them and now he retired. But that's besides the point. So I'm going to put Pat Patriot in the B tier. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of humanoid mascots, as you can see with my other rankings, but... I can totally see why they chose this guy as the mascot. I mean, he looks like the logo, even though he doesn't really look like Elvis at all. Although I do kind of wish he looked more like the original Patriots logo from back when they were first starting out. That would have been pretty cool. Also, I kind of feel really bad for him that one time when that one player completely decked him and he had to go to the hospital. I think he's also the mascot that has the most Super Bowl rings. Well, it's probably going to be a while till he gets any more. But anyway. But yeah, I do like Pat Patriot, so we're going to put him in B tier. He's just slightly above average. Next up, we have another double whammy NFL mascots. The New Orleans Saints, with Gumbo and Sir Saint. Now, Gumbo is a dog, because that was actually the Saints' original mascot, a dog named Gumbo, so I do like the homage. And Sir Saint is based off of some old logos that the Saints used to use. And I'm going to put them in C tier just because they're perfectly average. You know, like, there's nothing too special about them. They don't do anything too exciting. They're just there. And they do look good. Although Sir Saint's chin is kind of questionable. Though they have since uh, shrunk down his chin. Yeah, they're going in C tier. 
Next up we have the New York Giants F tier because they do not have a mascot. Although, if you're open to one, check out my video. Sticking in New York, we have the New York Jets. Once again, they're going in F tier because they do not have a mascot. They should have went with their old mascot that they proposed a while back, which was like a squirrel. But, until then, they're staying in F tier. Alright, we're getting towards the end. Next up, we have another Super Bowl mascot, Swoop from the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going to put Swoop in S tier. I really like Swoop. It's not just because I like Eagles and I actually played an Eagle in high school history video coming soon, but I think he's a huge improvement over the original Swoop, which just looked like a taxidermy Eagle. Now he actually looks like a cartoon character, and he looks really well made, he's really fun, really crazy. I like Swoop. But yeah, he's going in S tier, I really like Swoop. Oh boy, next up we have Steely McFrickin' Beam from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now you would think I'd put him in F tier because I don't like the Steelers, and he's also one of the worst mascots in the NFL. But, I'm gonna be generous and put him in D tier just because he is kind of an homage to one of their older logos, but he doesn't look that good. I mean, I don't get what the, the whole face thing, he's got a huge chin and... Like, I mean, I understand why he's a construction worker, that's what the Steelers are, but... I don't know, I just, I don't like him that much. And I know my dad's probably watching this, he's probably really pissed right now. But, I don't like Steely McBeam that much, so I'm gonna put him in D tier. He's not quite F tier, but he's damn near close. Next up we have Sourdough Sam from the San Francisco 49ers. Now as a Bengals fan, we don't really like the 49ers that much. But I do like Sourdough Sam, he's probably one of the better looking humanoid mascots. So we're gonna put him in A tier. I really like his design, I like how his hat can be removed, and I like that he can beatbox and he carries around an axe. Really cool, really friendly looking, one of the better humanoid mascots in the NFL. He's not like Steely McBeam, where Steely McBeam just looks like a... I don't even know what. But yeah, so I'm going to put him in A tier. Next up we have what's probably the coolest mascot in the NFL, Blitz from the Seattle Seahawks. He's going in S tier just because I really love his design. I love that he looks exactly like the logo. I love the colors of the Seahawks. And I really like how they translated that to the mascot. I mean, my gosh, I love this guy's design. He's so cool looking. He's friendly looking, but he's also ferocious looking because he's a hawk. But yeah, I really like this guy, so I'm putting him in S tier. Next up, we have Captain Fear from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. No, Tom Brady is not the mascot of the Buccaneers, it's Captain Fear. And I'm putting Captain Fear in C tier just because, well, hey, I, hey, I just realized something. C tier? Like the sea? Pirates sail the seas? Eh, whatever. But yeah, I'm putting him in C tier just because, I mean, there's nothing really too special about him, he's just a pirate. They could have done something a little bit better, even though... You know, make, make him a captain. He is literally a captain. You could have given him, like, a captain's hat or something. He's not the worst mascot. He's just not my favorite. So we're putting him in C tier. Next up, we have the Tennessee Titans mascot, T-Rack. T-Rack is also going in C tier just because he's a really weird choice to be the Titans mascot. I mean, he's a raccoon, but they're called the Titans. Although, actually, the reason why he's a raccoon is because the raccoon is the state mammal of Tennessee. So that explains why he's the mascot, but... I don't know, they could have made him look a little bit more ferocious looking. I mean, titans are big, ferocious creatures, and raccoons are not. Well, I mean, they're kind of ferocious, but... Not t rack Although, I do applaud him because he one time ate a cheerleader. So, <laughs> I gotta give him points for that. So we're, we're going to put him in C tier, just slightly above average. And last but certainly not least, we have the new kid on the block, the Washington Commanders. That's an awful name. Their mascot, Major Tutty the Hog. Now, when Major Tutty was first introduced a couple weeks ago, so many people hate him. And even to this day, a lot of people hate him. A lot of people say he's the worst mascot in the NFL. They don't know why their team mascot is a pig. Although I think, I think all the backlash Major Tutty is getting is too much. Like, it's a, it's a little too harsh. I mean, he's just a pig mascot. 
Although the reason why he's a pig is because back in the day, the Washington Commanders used to be called the Hogs. They would refer to their offensive line as the Hogs. So the name kind of stuck around and people started going to their games dressed as pigs. So they decided to have a pig as the mascot. I think that's a really good choice. I don't get why everybody's hating on him so much. I think the reason why everybody hates on him so much is because the Commanders are like the worst team in the NFL in terms of ownership because their owner is a piece of crap. Their stadium is a complete dump. And yeah, they're just not a really well run organization. So I think everybody's putting the blame on Major Tutty. But I think he's actually a really good mascot in terms of design. I don't like the name very much, but I can live with it. So I'm actually going to put him in B tier. Don't come after me, Commanders fans. These are just my opinions. And that's my NFL tier list, guys. What do you guys think of this? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tier list videos coming this year. Bye-bye.